My number five tight end heading to the 2021 NFL Draft is none other than I'm um, Florida State slash Georgia transfer. Uh, I'm Trey McKetty, man. Uh, what I love about this dude, man, I love his elements of uh, his skill set. So now I'm going to show you a couple of takes, man, what he's going to bring to the next level right here. So this is him blocking right now, man. Show his blocking technique. Boom. Right here, this is the outside being in space. I like this. Picking up the corner. Hey, just being in space, having your hands inside so not causing any uh, no, no flags, no penalty. Boom. And just use, just I muscle that guy. Beautiful, beautiful, man. And now right here, lined up right here in the wing formation right here. And he's about to be a lead blocker right here, man. This is going to be like the H-back position. Uh, that, that you're going to see a lot of the, uh, you know, like the Shannon hands of them use, man, with the Kyle Hughes check um, right there, man. So he's going to bring this versatility right here. Line up like an H-back. Uh, and then boom, look at this. Just leading away for Cam Akers right here. Leading the hole. That's beautiful. That's beautiful right here, man. Beautiful, beautiful block right there. There he is one more time, right here. One more time. Line up like in the H-back formation, and then he's about to lead right here, right here on the counter play, man. Just boom. Lead blocker right here. Look how he just take out the lineman right there in space. Just take the lineman out right there, man. Nice little pancake. That's how you finish. That's how you finish right there, man. Boom. And another thing he's going to definitely bring to the next level is, as a tight end, in the next level, you got to be able to uh, defeat this uh, high safety, this too high safety look. As you can see, the defense got covered too. This safety right here is on this hash, and the other safety is on this hash. So you got to be athletic as a tight end to split this safety, man, and just burn the defense for playing this coverage. Look at him right here. Ah, and this thing I see what I love about him. Look at this little athleticism right here. He got this little English in his in his in his top of his right right here. So to to basically get now number 48 out of position. Ah, that's beautiful right here, man. That little hezzy right here. Now go ahead. Go ahead and split that. Nice catch right there. Get the ball at the high point right there, man. Beautiful. Beautiful execution. Another another look right here. Look, look at the two high safety right here. Boom. Boom. So as a as an offense, you want to take advantage of this space right here. So you're gonna have your tight end 6'5, 250, man. Trey McKetty. So he's gonna basically um, exploit the defense right here and take advantage of this of this um space. Look at him right here, man. Look at his athletic ability. Ah, coming up, show some wheels. Get off right here above uh um the linebackers and in between the safeties. Ah, nice catch right there, man. Execute. That's professional. This right here is going to trans translate to the professional level, man. You see guys like Darren Waller just dominate in the in, in, against guys that plays cover two, man. Dominate. But one thing I got to tell you, uh, 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 if you're tied in and the offensive coordinator go ahead and create a play for you, especially like a screenplay, that shows he thinks highly of you in space and he thinks if, the, if they put the ball in your hand, you're going to make something good happen, man. When you see tight end screen, man, this is that shows you, man. That shows you how high the offensive coordinator feel about your your tight end. Because it's not too many people that run tight end screens. It's like a particular type of guy to run a uh, particular tight end to run a tight end screen, man. You gotta have soft hands and you gotta be able to navigate through space. Hey, this is an excellent play design right here. Florida State OC, this is an excellent play design right here, man. Third and fourteen. Excellent play design with the inside screen. That's beautiful. Look at the big man. This dude is 6'5", 250, man. 6'5", 250. Look at this big man run and move. That's impressive, man. Great play call right there. I will tell you, that shows you, that shows what the offensive coordinator really think about you, man. And another thing is the shovel pass. They do the shovel pass to a tight end. Bro, do you know how complex? You guys think this is an easy place to run, but look at all this mess right here. And then they're going to throw the ball to a tight end in the shovel pass. That, hey, Florida State think highly. Florida State offensive coordinator thinks highly, highly of my man Trey McKinney. And so do I, man. So do I. I think highly of the kid, man. That's why I got him as my number fifth ranked tight end going into the 2021 prospect. And you know what? I love this play right here, bro. I love this play right here, man. Look at my man on this uh, on the shovel pass right here. This is what I love about it. Third and four, man. This is what I love. And every time a tight end get a ball, every time a tight end, this is how it's supposed to end. Every time a tight end, at the end of every tight end catch or run, it should look like a little mush pit. You know them rock and roll uh, music videos, that rock and roll concert right there? It should be a mush pit right here. This is a mush pit. I need my tight end to be in the middle of a mush pit whenever he makes a reception, man. And this dude is a mosh pit king, bro. 
And one other thing he's gonna bring to the next level, bro. When I was watching the tape and evaluating this dude, bro, it's it's on third down. He's a quarterback best friend, man. He seems to always get the first down, man. Look at this, he's third and three. He's lined up right here, man. Ah, uh, see, he just know where the sticks is. Turn around. Ah, uh, look at that. Hands catching and get up the field, bro. That's 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 impressive, bro. You like that's why you need a tight end because this is a quarterback best friend. Once again, third and four right now, right? And look at this sign. They're like 0-3 on third downs currently. Third and four. You know what you do when you're 0-3? You go to your quarterback friendly tight end. Good route. Great route right here, man. Stick route. Get to the stick, turn around. Mm, catch the ball. Catch the ball, man. That's what he's gonna bring to the next level right here. That execution right here, man. Third down situation, he's going to get the ball. Look at this. Boom. Get a first down. I call that the chain mover, man. He's going to be the chain mover. But look at this. Once again, third down in the red zone. We all know what happened in the red zone, man. The red zone is the virgin zone. I like to call it, man. It's the tight zone. That's the virgin zone. And you got to have a big dog, man, to loosen that tight zone up, man. And my man Trey McKetty is a big dog, man, in the red zone, or a.k.a. the tight zone, a.k.a. the virgin zone. Let's watch my man make moves right here, man. Third down in the virgin zone. Ah, look at this English right here, man. Look at this little swell. Look at this move he did, though, man. Look at this athletic ability in the tight zone. That's a big dog right here. In that tight zone, he was a big dog, man. That virgin zone right here, boom, right there. He just popped the flowers and popped the cherry, man. Trey McKetty, my number fifth ranked tight end in the 2021 NFL Draft, man. You all know the drill. Like this, love this, share this, and I am out.